All right. <clears throat> Let me get off of here. I got the baby on my lap. <laughs> All right. Show y'all what I got going on. I'm uh, just getting some logs over at the clearing job. Now, are these logs worth the crap? I have no idea. Let me flip the camera around and show you. Okay, so first to show you how I was doing it, because you can do this whether your logs are good or bad. I've got the brush hog on, which isn't really ideal. I'd rather had the box blade probably. But what I did was obviously hook around the front of the log and I got it in a position that the front would be up off the ground a little bit and then backed up right up to it with the brush hog and put the chain around the front again ran the chain through this bracket the brush hog and then straight up through and around my lower three points and then what happened was when i picked the brush hog up it would pick the front end of this log up off the ground um look at this Woo, it's a marshmallow that's that dirt for y'all water up under it anyway so it picked the front end of the log up off the ground to help skid it so it wasn't bulldozing in the tractor pulled these three, which they're pretty much the biggest thing I'd ever pull. That one over there broke in half when I started to pull it out. She pulled it with no problem, never spun a tire, so that's good. But I don't know, like I said, I don't know if the logs are going to be worth anything. They've been laying on the ground for six months since I tore them down. Um, they look, when you look at the end of them, like this one, it's going to look pretty just nasty but actually that's that's hard it, it doesn't even feel punky on the edges i oh wow sitting there poking around there's a walking stick right there um i think when you saw it in half you're gonna find pretty fresh looking wood i think just these outer ends are are what look bad what patience wait i don't know why they're all being impatient but anyway so i don't know if they're gonna be any good i'm gonna start with just these three uh, i'll come over here tomorrow because it's bath time now I'll come over tomorrow and I'm going to buck them probably to about 10 foot lengths and then use the forks to pick them up and haul them home so I'm not dragging them down the road. I just don't want another reason for the county to be mad at me. But the coolest thing about all this probably is that I'm actually able to get in here. Um, I showed you guys, I think, a video after we cleared it and then it rained a bunch. Of course, all this was staying in water. It happens. But, you know, then I made a video talking about how I was fixing up a cable so I could reach out 100 feet and grab these things. I don't need it. It's solid enough out here. I was able to back all the way out here into the clearing, which these are the furthest logs from the gate or from the entrance. I was able to back right up to them. Heck, I even brush hogs made a little path. I was able to get right up to them, no problem. And uh, like I said, I, I didn't I didn't sink or cut a rut anywhere out here. This this is all pretty solid. It's really just that one spot I just showed you up front. That was a water hole and I filled it full of dirt. So it's gonna take some time to set up. But I just backed right up in here and snatched a few, you know, best I could. It's like a game of pickup sticks, trying to figure out which one to pull that's not gonna, you know, get bound up or make a bigger mess. It'd be pretty cool if I could get this whole pile pulled just so it's one less thing that I have to worry about. Otherwise, when I come back in here with the excavator, it'll all get thrown over there or it'll all get thrown in the truck and hauled home. If these over here turn out to be worth a hoot. So anyway, uh, see our burn pile there? That needs to be all consolidated when the excavator comes back and relit. But yeah, that's really cool. You can see this is real up and down. Looking through here, you can see obviously hole there, hole there. It's just been sufficiently dry and hot. This is all dried out really well. So like I said, I was able to back right up to it, pull it. I should take advantage while I have the time. Of course, it's going to be the hottest weekend on record, so I don't really know that I want to be out here pulling logs in the clearing when it's smoldering hot. But anyway, this is a good size log. This is, uh, you know, like I said, they're not huge, but that's 16 inches at the base. And it's, if I pace off here, Three, four, five, six, seven, 11, 12, 13, almost 40 feet long. So, I mean, they're bigger than they look. Like, you just glance at it, you're like, oh, it's not that big of a log, but they're long. They're just not all that big around. Perfect logs for sawing a bunch of two by fours and two by sixes. And that's what I need. Anyway, get these kids home. Bath time, bedtime. <laughs>